Wayne Holsworth, the new batsman. Wax it down to one on for single. As Ian Chappell and Tony Gregg takes up the commentary. Thank you, Bill. Yes, that's the end of a successful over. And uh, another one down for New South Wales. Let's have another look at that dismissal. See if we can pick up a call down at the non-striker's end. It certainly seemed as if he reacted to a yes. Or perhaps he just looked up and there was a little bit of uh, indecision from the other end. Anyhow, there was no chance that he would get back. And, uh, the ball hit the stumps there, so out run out. I got the impression that McNamara was trying to get away from the stumps as quickly as possible so the umpire wouldn't get a good look at the LBW decision, which is all well and good as long as the ball's not uh, nestling in the wicketkeeper's gloves, which it was on that occasion. So uh, I don't think there was any blame uh, could be put on um, Phil Emery. I think it was McNamara trying to get away and not give Darrell Hare much of a look at the LBW. It was a bit high. He certainly didn't look where the ball had gone. That's well played. Over the top and down into the gap as well. So Holdsworth getting onto that one. He's not going to waste any time. Just uh, the thing that just surprised me a little bit about McNamara's dismissal was his reaction afterwards. He he really did throw a bit of a wobbly, if you like, on his way off. Typical batsman's reaction. Uh, not over thrilled about getting out. At that point, uh, just a couple of seconds after the finger's gone up, you're not uh, really worried about who you're blaming. You're just cranky with your getting out. So, smash that one away. Two balls worth. Three out of three. That one's going to the fence. Good shot. Oh, he's got the old-fashioned tailenders approach to the game. Right from the word go. There's a go. Well, I think uh, the Tour of England's done a lot of good for his batting. Maybe it's the promotion uh, being pushed ahead of Whitney and McGrath. Perhaps uh, the sight of his name appearing at number nine on the scoreboard has done wonders for Wayne's batting. And again. You're quite right about the old-fashioned approach to uh, tail end batting and uh, I guess when you can bowl quick like Wayne Holdsworth can you can afford to uh, throw the cue around at uh, the ball and know that you're not going to get, certainly in a one-day game, you won't get much short stuff anyhow. But even in a Sheffield Shield match, uh, if the opposition bowlers know that you can hand it out uh, and pretty quickly, then they're less inclined to bang one in short to you. Off the edge, and that flies away down towards the boundary at third man, and a four. What a strike rate he's got. He's just uh, having a thrash at everything, Wayne Holdsworth, and at the moment, everything's going into the gap, which he'd be delighted about, hence the tremendous strike rate. There it is. Adjustments out there. We didn't find the gap on that occasion. David Boone, the man at mid wicket. The 12 runs from this over so far, just one ball to go. The run rate. He's having a look over towards deep mid wicket, down towards the hill. He's hit it there. One bounce into the fence. Well, that's exactly where he looked. 16 runs off the over, and New South Wales advanced to seven for 268.
The seven for 268. Wayne Holdsworth now 17 off seven balls. It's not a bad effort. Three boundaries to uh, Wayne Holdsworth, and the last one provided an interesting example of how the crowd have really got involved in this uh, mercantile mutual competition. Gentlemen, there reaching over the fence, one hand, one bounce. That worth uh, that ought to be worth uh, 50 bucks. It's certainly out in the backyard cricket. Ought to get him 50 bucks. That. That one way down towards a bit wicket as well. I think that's his target, cow shot corner. Yes, I get the feeling the bloke who caught it one hand, one bounce down there. Had it been any closer, he would have been tumbling over the fence to make the catch, whatever happened. Holdsworth, un undefeated on 18. This is a tribute to the batting prowess of Wayne Holdsworth. Phil Emery just pushing the singles, giving the strike to the uh, the slogging tail ender. And he's doing a very good job of it. 18 off eight balls. I think you're quite right though, Greggy. He's got the one spot picked out, and it's uh, mid-wicket way. Let's get ready in front of the Duncan Thompson stand. It's gone up in the air. Is it going to be six under the big three? It is. Yep, yep, yep. And he's got it. Yes, what a good catch. Don't know he dropped it. Well, he had a go. Yes, he caught it. Or did he pick it up off the ground? It's a huge hit. It's uh, extremely well timed. And uh, so much for the theory of him just aiming for mid wicket. And uh, that's a good catch because uh, there was a guy in running across in front of him throwing his arms up and the man's having his name taken. Got that one away for four. Well, so I think he's dropped, uh, he's dropped over to you, Richie. He went back quickly to pick that up as well, having caught the ball. So that's two that have been caught now. Two uh, sixes have been caught by the crowd. Let's have another look at that one to mid-wicket. Yes, that's flayed away down towards the ground boundary. And then she goes. All right, one ball to go in the over. Holdsworth having a ball. Scored of every ball in that over. Holdsworth coming back for the second here. And home he gets. 15 off the over. Good one for New South Wales. They're loving every second of it. 7 for 283. Now look at Holdsworth, 30 of 11 balls. This will definitely be the fastest 50, and what's more, it'll take a bit of beating if he keeps going the way he is. So just two overs to go now. stuff again give it to Holsworth this could bolster the team kitty well, there he is that's Michael Whitney I reckon he might be waiting down there for a catch as well
that's a big one, it's over the top in mid-wicket, will it be caught again? Oh no, it's hit the roof down there and bounced over the top. Well, he's got a good back at bat and he's a strong boy, he's smashed that one. Well, Mark Wall got his 50 off 40 balls earlier and uh, Wayne Holdsworth, if he goes on to get 50, he's going to make a huge dent in that. Ball has now been tossed back uh, onto the ground. David Boone just strolls over and picks it up. 36 off 12 balls. And that was well hit. And it's always going to be six. And just caught the roof, edge of the roof. It's a better delivery. Well fetched up. Can't get under those. You can see there in the last uh, few overs how Wayne Holdsworth has made a real difference to uh, to the run rate, especially coming on top of the three wickets that fell very quickly. Tremendous uh, injection of runs there right near the end. That's the place they'll be looking for two here. Holdsworth back for the second. It was very well run by Wayne Holdsworth. He knew that he was going to be coming back to the danger end if they were going to run two. So he was very quick to run the first one, knowing that uh, it would just be a stroll for Phil Emery if he was, uh, he was coming back for the second. Good running. You see how much uh, ahead of Emery he was in completing the first. single of that one just one to go in the over now and then we'll have one more over some good run scoring for New South Wales in this competition 278 against uh, Queensland in their first mercantile mutual match now they're reporting on 300 here at North Sydney Oval and he hit another six. Holdsworth on strike. Who's missed that one by the house? Two to the keeper. So that's the end of the over. One to go. It's seven for 294. Seven for 294. Tucker to bowl the last over. Will Emery has strike at the moment. And uh, a big chance here. Yeah, this will be out if he gets there. Yes. Oh, the umpire says not out. Oh, another one of those close ones. Big casual fielding uh, effort there from David Boone. Just sort of strolled in and underarmed it. Will Emery. Grounding the bat, which is uh, the ideal way to go. You'll always get the benefit of the doubt in that situation. Oh, he smashed that one too. Away in the air she goes. And, oh, it's gone. That's he's hitting him too far for the crowd here. This ground has come alive right underneath that one. Well, there's an opportunity for an enterprising young lad out there. Uh, if there's a smart kid out there, he picks up the ball in the street, comes dashing back in and tells the mercantile mutual man, hey, look what I caught, and gets himself 100 bucks because no one's going to be able to prove that he didn't catch it. It's gone right out of the ground. So uh, we'll see if there's any quick-thinking young lads in the North Sydney area.
43 to Wayne Holdsworth. He's got four balls to get the 50. And uh, if he does get to 50, it's going to be the fastest 50 of the competition. Well, that young man may well appear. The ball hasn't been found yet. And uh, everyone's waiting for it to come back. It's uh, gone way over the top there, down into the park behind the ground here. It's buried in that huge great hole that the, someone has dug there. There's uh, some work going on behind the stand. Well, they've got it. There it is. I think it's got tram tickets all over it as well. It's been that far. That's a better delivery. Well pitched up. The Yorker, there's nothing he can do about that one. Close to the stumps too. Tucker the bowler there. That last six brought up the 300 for New South Wales. So Wayne Holdsworth now has three balls in which to make seven runs. Slow one, he's got it away. Will he come back for the second? Probably try. He will. Yes, and just home. The umpire's had a long, hard look at it. So two to Holdsworth. Taking them just 22 balls to go from 250 to 300. He's got to come back to the two here. I guess he'll try. And it's a wide throw, and he comes back for two. So he's got to get three runs now for his 50. And he's got one ball to do it in, and the player who scores the fastest 50 in the 93-94 season in the Mercantile Mutual Cup will receive $5,000. So, one ball to go, three runs to get, and Holdsworth is on strike. <laughs> I think he's going to get three from that. That is a good delivery. They should have bowled a lot more right up there. He's come back for the second. No overthrows. And Holdsworth has got home. He's the hero. It's all happening for him out there. He's come out of his shoe as well. <laughs> He's unlucky, Wayne Holsworth. He's finished on 49. And Phil Emery was uh, very much aware of the uh, the prize, and he was trying to get him as much strike as possible to get that 50, a 50 that would have been, uh, well, you would think unbeatable. But unfortunately, he's finished one short. Well, the crowd standing and reporting him off the ground. I really did enjoy that. Scored in the 50 overs, Holdsworth there getting a big cheer off the ground. Tremendous atmosphere here. And it's now going to be up to David Boone and the Tasmanians to see if they can get close to that. So this outfield fast, the pitch is good, and all it needs is some outstanding batting. And uh, once more, there's a magnificent crowd here. We'll be looking forward to seeing them do it too. We'll be back in just a moment with Richie Benno.